So yeah, uh, HCG actually started, uh, we're, we're based in the Netherlands, uh, just north of Amsterdam. Uh, we welcome anyone, any of you guys to come see us. It's always a good time. Um, we were founded, uh, like it says there in 1985, it was a, uh, it was a shop, a fabrication shop. And, uh, one of the original, uh, founders said, man, there has to be a better way. So he developed a, uh, a CNC controlled, uh, pipe cutter. And, uh, from that, we, uh, have grown now to where we have, uh, and since the slide, we actually have over a thousand uh, machines globally, uh, over wow. 200 here in the U.S. Um, we now have a presence here in the U.S. We have a service center based in Houston, Tex, where we, we service our machines, um, all of that good stuff. Um, we, we are primarily, um, we're heavy into the uh, software side of things, right? Because anybody can build a good machine. Uh, it's a matter of making that machine do what you need it to do. Um, and I think that's on the next slide here. For sure. So yeah, you know, this is a, this is a picture of one of our, uh, our beam profiler, but it's, uh, has the robot in there. But at the end of the day, safety is a huge deal for us. I mean, we're, we're taking the, uh, the sparks, you know, and containing everything into the shop and accuracy. Uh, part of having accurate information coming into our, into our ProCam system allows the machine to be extremely accurate. Uh, I mean, we're within one half a degree on, on bevels, you know, we're within a millimeter on uh, accuracy on length, uh, extremely accurate cuts, getting ready for weld. Uh, you don't have much cleanup, if any. Um, you know they're they're very fast machines, and lots of times we say these these machines can cut and cut as much as twelve men, you know, and or more. Yeah. Um, and especially nowadays with the uh, the labor issues and all the things going on, um, we can we can really help a shop to be the most efficient that it can be. Uh, maybe that's go a, to the next one. That's a really impressive picture right there, and that's something I honestly didn't know about your your machines is how they contain um, the the spark for the safety purposes of that. That's a really neat piece of information to put out there. Yeah, and and this this is just uh, so we cut a lot of uh, pipe and and beam and squares and angles. Um, this is just one of our our machines that's made mainly for like the mechanical market but it's just extremely fast, but it just shows the machine is doing the work, right? right. Um, so your operator, your one operator can load the pipe, can load the tube, whatever it is. Uh, and, and with a lot of our audience today, it's gonna be handrails and things like that. But it's the same concept. He can load it up, the machine will uh, handle it from there, basically. You know, once the software is up and running and you hit go, the it's kicking out parts. And that's a, a safety is, is a huge deal, you know. Yeah. No, that's 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 a really neat, uh, like I said, a really neat aspect of how you guys design your machines. And then it's all plasma cut. So you're talking very good, uh, very clean cuts, no cleanup uh, to speak of. Um, it, it really takes a shot to the next level. And I think on the next slide, I have a picture of, um, yeah, that's actually our shop our, um, over in the Netherlands, our corporate headquarters. Uh, we, uh, in a couple of those buildings, we, we build machines. Um, and uh, in one of the buildings is our actual cutting shop. So most of our machines, most of our machines are custom built to uh, what the customer needs. Okay. Um, and so what we like to do in the process we like to go through is to really talk to our customers about or potential customers about what do you need? Um, and it's not just uh, putting them in the best solution that we have, but it's really trying to get them to the best solution for their shop, uh, which is what I'm going to talk about at the conference um, coming up um, is, is more of how 
how to make the right decision. You know, do you go laser? Do you go plasma? Do you, you know, there's a lot of options out there. And so we can have a discussion at the, at the seminar about, uh, you know, cho choosing the right option for your shop. Uh, but that's, that's kind of our background. And I love that about about you and your you know your approach to selling uh, machines. You and I talked about that the other day, right? And to reiterate what you just said, your best solution may not be the best solution for that particular customer. Every customer is different. Every shop is different. Um, and you were talking about you know uh, having those conversations and and talking about what the future looks like for that customer. Um, but right now, also living in the now of what machine they need to be the most successful. And I really appreciated that about, like I said, just about your sales, um, uh, you know, initiative when you're dealing with people. I really love that. Yeah, I think it's I think it's key, not not always just to to buy the machine for now. Um, of course, everybody has immediate needs. But yep. what do you want to be? When, what, what do you want your shop to be and what? And maybe there's a machine that we can, you know, grow into. Uh, there's a, there's a lot of things to consider. Budget, you know, um, just what you're cutting, uh, what you want to cut down the road, you know, how you want to expand your business. So yeah, a lot of factors there. Absolutely. Well, right on, man. So what do you say? Let's jump into SDS2. Let's show them what this new toolbox piece is all about uh, and kind of get into the workflow of what uh, SDS2 can do with HGG. Yeah, yeah.